Hello, Synapse ICD fans. My name is Rui Cunha, and I'm a support escalation engineer on the Azure Synapse Analytics team. Welcome to this video series on Synapse ICD. In Synapse Studio, by default, you are altering your code directly against the Synapse service. If you have a need for a collaboration using Git for source control, Synapse Studio allows you to associate your workspace with the Git repository. Let's watch this video and see how you can easily integrate your Synapse workspace with an Azure DevOps Git repo. So here it is my workspace. This is currently not integrated with any Git repository. Okay. So to start the Git integration, what we need to make sure is that we have all the necessary pieces in place when it comes to DevOps. So here I have uh, already created organization, but I want to do it from scratch so I can show you how you can easily create a DevOps repository to integrate with your Synapse workspace. So let me start by creating a new organization. Let me call it my new Synapse CICD. Let me just provide here the values for this. We are now creating our new organization. So this is the first step that we need to make. And then we need to create a project to hold our repository. My new project. Let's create this project. And now we need to, the last step is to initialize the repo. So let's just hit this initialize button here. And he, here we have our Git repository in place with this holding this main branch. Okay. So now let's flip back to our Synapse workspace. And from the UI, there are two places where we can configure in the repository to start configuring the repository. One is from the manage hub under source control Git configuration. The other one is from the branch selector. You can click this setup code repository to start the configuration. From the repository type, you can choose two types of repos, one Azure DevOps, another one is GitHub. In this session, I'll be covering the Azure DevOps Git repository. So I will choose my default active directory. And now this is where I need to choose my DevOps organization name. Here it is, my new Synapse CD org with my project and my repo. So now I need to define my collaboration branch. Okay, this will be my shared code base. I'm going to select the main branch that was initialized and my publish branch. So the publish branch is a branch that you cannot edit from the UI. The intention of this branch is to save the ARM templates that are generated anytime you publish your artifacts here in the workspace. So I will keep this workspace publish branch as a default. Root folder. This will determine the place where your all your artifacts will be saved in the folder structure in your collaboration branch. So in this case, I don't have any folder, but if, for example, I wanted to save all my artifacts under this setups folder, okay, you will see once we start the integration that a Synapse folder will be created here. And under this folder, you will have multiple folders that will correspond to your artifacts. So last, the import existing resources. This setting is important when you're setting up uh, your Git configuration. And for example, your uh, workspace already has artifacts that are saved. So you start working on your workspace without any Git configuration. And then later, on a later stage, you decide to integrate this workspace with a Git repo. So you need to bring all the resources that you have been altering in live mode to your repository. So this can be helpful for, for that. 
if you leave this branch um, selector here empty you will the resources will be imported to your collaboration branch but if you want these resources to be imported to a different uh, branch for example you just need to select that branch here so I will keep the default branch and I will start here my integration so now behind the scenes your workspace as a resource is is being updated so we are patching your workspace and setting all these git configuration um, uh, values attached to your workspace settings so now that your repo is connected let's flip back here to this branch i'm going to hit the refresh and you see here my synapse folder that i have decided as my root folder here let me just do a refresh so you can see here the information that i'm talking about in terms of root folder here it is it will be my synapse folder and under this folder i will have the default um, resources like the credential the auto resolve integration runtime the default linked services for the storage and for the SQL Server. My workspace had, before this Git in into integration, I had several artifacts here, like this SQL script, this uh, linked service, and we can confirm that by switching to live mode. I can see that before the Git integration, I already had this script here, and in terms of linked services, the ADLS to linked service was already there. Okay. And by doing this, we finish the Git repository configuration in your workspace. So stay tuned. Next episode, I will talk about the Git integration, but with a GitHub repository. And that's it for today. Don't forget to like and leave your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we'll be releasing more Synapse CD videos soon. I'll catch you up on the next one.